Fig number one, I love that. Make sure you don't walk through a car. I just did like millions of them, they're stuck to my face. That's like my new favorite word, cracker jack. Okay, we gotta go. Where are we? So now you're seeing the, uh, the bowels. Seen that movie. <laughs> Not reenacting it. <laughs> The people that were just stopped by, they are art gallery people, and they're looking for this kind of a space, so they stopped us in conversation right now. Call them back! They are right there, I think. Uh, you know what? Don't get them. Let them go. Wow. These ceiling heights. The truth is, the plans call for splitting these into two levels, no. which will ruin the aesthetics, but picking up 3,600 feet. Ultimately, I see what it can be. You have a high ceiling height, it is like, it makes places really, really special. Peter has an idea. Plans I heard of were to put a floor. You have 20 foot ceiling heights and they said, let's split into two and do two, two floors of 10 feet. And I'm like, oh my God, you take away this like gorgeous 20 foot ceiling. He's a broker. Uh, I trust architects. I personally think there's a townhouse fire that wants this place. This site's about 88 feet. Wow. What is that? Have you seen Oh. <laughs> it's art. <laughs> art could be whatever you want to make it. You could have a shoe rack, color it, you put some diamonds on it, it's art, right? Like you could do whatever you want. So yeah, I thought that was art. Oh, I said the same thing. <laughs> Covered in cobwebs. I've seen mice here before, so. Mice? Listen, it's a construction site. There's gonna be mice. We're in New York City. Wear appropriate shoes. Don't wear open-toed shoes. You work in freaking real estate. You can handle a cockroach. You can handle mice. Spiders or mice? I would pick mice. They don't scare me. Spiders, I don't f with spiders, bro. <laughs> be careful. Do not walk where I don't walk. This was uh, built around, around 1861. It was a functioning building. Oh, bro. bro, we're in the basement of a... 200 year old building, right? Is that 200 years? 1886? No, it's like 180. <laughs> My math is off, bro. I'll stick to selling real estate. Boogie boogie. I got the old school uh, graphics here. Is this a printing house at one point? Printing and photos. Very yeah. cool. Oh. I want this door though. What's at the door? I don't know. Like oh, yeah, screen right? printed. Big number one. We one could take that. that. You know, the old break back here. Make sure you don't walk through a car. I just did like millions of them. They're stuck to my phone. Okay, we gotta go. Dude, what? Where are we? So there's tons of these old hidden buildings. Not hidden, but they're like, they haven't, someone's held it for years and it's now worth 20 something million dollars. And uh, we're gonna turn it into luxury condos. We have a buyer that's asking us to come check it out. Brandon, are you a Cracker Jacker? Look at this. It's cracker Jack now. A person or thing that shows marked ability or excellence. Are you a Cracker Jack? That's you, Terry. Oh, thank you. That's like my new favorite word, Cracker Jack. Oh yeah, so now you're seeing the, uh, the bowels of the building. Now, there was a freight elevator there. The asking's 22 million? We don't have an ask, it's officially not on the market. He's looking for about 22 and he'll deliver it with approved plans. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I didn't see this. Wow, salt. Um, this Peter? I'm not leaving you alone down here. I'm not. Gang, let's split up. Seen that movie? <laughs> not reenacting it. Need tips for surviving a scary movie. Don't come in. <laughs> this doesn't seem scary. Valerie sees a scary place, and I'm like, ah, like heart eye emoji. So we're gonna go see like the upper level. Same building though, yeah. Same building. Yeah. Dude, they're all over. <laughs> Just take it easy because it's a construction site. Keep an eye on the ground. It's a dynamite. Mm -hmm. It'll be wider, I imagine, because you're going to have a Wait, where would the elevator bank? Where It'll was be it? Honest, I don't know if I remember. It's code. It's a little nippy. You lost your seat, Terry. Oh, oh. <laughs> my baby. This is like out of a saw movie. Yeah, it is. I was thinking Freddy Krueger when we were going up the stairs. You and I are having a debate. Oh, what's the debate? <laughs> I, I think he's right, though. I'm gonna go 12 2. 12 to level 11 there. What do we got? 11 8. Hey, tomato, tomato. This is a really insane opportunity because these are like hard to find. Peter showing a stock market opportunity and we're hopefully taking this to a developer to turn these into luxury homes. Mm -hmm. And Jessica Markowski actually has got us here. The <laughs> Nutcracker the Scout. Nice find for the Bogo New York team. Yay, you're welcome. <laughs> now let's get it sold. Let's get it sold. We've built some new houses. Uh, I've seen enough. Well, we got one more floor in the roof. So these girls are gonna stay with you. I'm gonna- We just one more floor in the roof, come on. Oh, just right, come I'll on. give you three minutes. Come on. <laughs>
<laughs> Peter, you're Fresh a good salesman. Yeah. That's why you're down here selling these twenty million dollar buildings. Holy moly! Hey, yo. Yeah. With 56 Leonard, look at that. How solid is this, Peter? Am I gonna go for a trip if I go? No, walking? you're fine, but don't, you know, don't go near the edge. Don't start you jumping. Know. There he goes right in the middle. Yo, no, don't stop. <laughs> it's a one abandoned building. Beautiful, stunning, gorgeous, mega, like, hello. <laughs> yeah, how'd you, how'd you find I've known Peter for maybe a year and a half, too. We were doing a deal at the Barney's building. We got a contract out, which I told you. Unfortunately, it wasn't sold by us, but um, we worked on that deal together. She's nice hitting I the 2225. It's so bad, bro. Like, <laughs> He'll show up to a meeting with cobwebs. It's a look. This guy just climbed out from underneath the subway. Yeah, <laughs> literally under the subway. <laughs> and I did. Yeah, I did. did. Who would you say is like a buyer for this type of building? Developer. When you walk something with a developer, you know that they're thinking about their dollars and their bottom line and what they can get it for and what they can sell it out for. I think this is easily a $50 million sellout if done right. This is a condo product for sure. These two old cast iron buildings in a historic district of Tribeca and there's a brick retainer wall and someone waited long enough to purchase both of them. And so now those two buildings will be combined and they will make these huge 4,000 square foot lofts on each one, a crazy penthouse, and then two duplex apartments side by side. There's so much potential. It's really wide when you do have the, both of the addresses. It makes for a really wide building. Tall ceilings, did I mention the tall ceilings? If it comes together, it's gonna be sick. Hi! Yo, I think maybe on the second floor? Like, I have a new patient? <laughs> no more new agents. Like, none. The other story that I was going to mention is that Brandon and I have had a trip of a time selling. Um, okay, so rewind. <laughs> The look, the look of like, yeah, you know, what are we getting into? Where are we going? So we went to meet a seller who was like, I want to put my home on the market in the spring. So we're at 77 Mercer, which is in the heart of Soho, New York City. We're standing in the kitchen of his loft on Mercer Street, and we get a in search of email from Talia McKinney. This is such a great story. So I was working with this buyer who had a very specific area of Soho. Yeah that he wanted to buy a property in. It is one of the most desired streets to live on. And to find property here is rare. We are literally both standing in the kitchen looking at our phones, reading this list of things they're looking for. I have this buyer, he's looking for this property and he wants to live in this like four block radius in Soho. It just completely describes the apartment we were standing in. A wood burning fireplace, 13 foot ceilings. The owner of the apartment is standing right here. I sent out the blast and then I get a call from... Me and my wife. So We've known him for a couple of years now. Brandon and I came here to talk to him about listing in the spring of 2024. When I was coming up the elevator, I saw Talia's email. Let's see what she's in search of. Soho, two bedrooms, tall ceilings, charm. This is perfect for her client. I was listening to the homeowner tell him what the price was and I'm like, would you be willing to show it right now? And he goes, you're kidding. And I'm like, no, no, no. I have a colleague who has a buyer who's looking for this exact product. And he goes, yeah, sure. If this is real, make it happen. So we're like, Talia, why don't you come see this? So I sent a text message. He's like, Talia, I have the property. You have to get over here now. She immediately came over, was there at the apartment in less than five minutes. And I was like, wait, I'm in the middle. He's like, no, get here now. I have access. This is the property for your buyer. And I was like, okay, we'll see. So I ran over here in like four minutes, came up, and I know what this person's looking for. I know what he would like, and I walked in. She takes videos, sends them to her client. I was like, this is the plate. tenant was out of town, you're like, you have to get him in tomorrow. And I was like, I don't know if I can. You're like, you have to. You can make it happen. We can make it happen. So I was like, of course, let's do it. So I got him in the next day. He walked in. Client loves it. He loved it. I could tell by his face. I'm like, this is exactly what we were looking for. It's amazing. I was like, we have to submit an offer. And 
Today is closing day. Say la vie. Here we are, closing day. Closing day. Serendipitous isn't even the right word for it. If there's serendipitous on steroids, that's what this situation was. This happens all the time though, right? Never. <laughs> This has never so happened and probably will not happen again. Owner to show a broker at the last minute, it was crazy. It's a wild story. It's a one of one, so it's very cool. Tell me what you think of this loft. How amazing and beautiful is this? If you're a real estate agent, this is why you really want to nurture your relationships. You never know who has the next opportunity for you or the clients that you know. Important to stay in touch with buyers and sellers, but the real estate agents are the gatekeepers. I mean, I couldn't have done this if I didn't walk past Talia in the office and know she was there, read my emails on the way up and know that she's a quality broker with quality clients. This would have never come together. These are slim to none, but how pretty is this place? Tell me, tell me what your favorite part of this is in the comments. Conversations. That's the biggest thing right now is to have more conversations with sellers. It was pulling teeth last year, a couple years to get listings. It's gonna be gangbusters, like the next 24 months. We are celebrating a lot of things. Let me count the CS wins recently. I need both hands. Anniversary of the team. Happy anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> next number of years. Absolutely freaking killing it. Highest sale in Brooklyn so far this year. Three new listings. Already has offers on all three. <laughs> Jeez. In contracts, I'm one. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Brian and I just feel like so much joy watching you flourish, and you so deserve it. And we just are so like happy that you're on our team. <laughs> if anybody tries to steal you, <laughs> I will do things that I can't say on camera. Uh -huh. I couldn't have done it without all your guidance and mentorship. Oh. So many more big wins to have. How did you first? acquire news. In 2020, we knew that we wanted to add agents, but we wanted to see where the world was going because that it was that year. I remember we met Lucia on Zoom. We just like really liked her. We interviewed a lot of people. I don't know that I know all of this. Yeah, you probably do. Oh, know. yeah. We wanted to bring on four people. We were like, I hope that she says yes because we're not established. Anyway, but Brayden and I had been selling a lot of real estate, but just like as a team, like you're coming into the unknown when there's, it's like a startup. She believed in us and she believed in us so much <laughs> that she also changed brokerages with us, which was really scary when we were changing yeah. brokerages because we knew we, we believed in a vision of where we were going. We we're like, if, if people don't want to do that with us, we completely understand. Oh God, Lucia, better come with us. I remember where I was standing. I was at 651 New York Avenue. Oh, yes! And I remember I was talking to you, and I'm standing there in the kitchen. It's all cement. I was like, oh, that's amazing. Like, you're telling me that you're moving, brokerage. And I didn't assume that I'd be going with you. And then you were like, and we're bringing you with us. Well, and I was like, will. and I was like, yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Couldn't imagine life without her, pretty much. But it's always your decision. Yeah. Wanting you to always feel like completely in control of the situation, but yeah, like couldn't imagine doing all of this without you. You're like part of me now. It's deep, it's not just friendship or colleague, it's deeper, you know? But she's the longest standing member of the Bogart New York team. And I remember, so when I saw your profiles, you know, before our Zoom interview, I was like, am I cool enough to be on their team? <laughs> They're both like in leather jackets. Oh, that feels like so long ago. A year in real estate is 10 years of right regular life. It's like dog years. Yeah. How long have you and Brandon been married again? Uh, 2019. At least 40 <laughs> years. When you run a business with your significant other, I definitely, like, yeah, it's more than five years. <laughs> They've helped me through each one. Each transaction is completely different. Even if you think, oh, I've done a co-op deal before. Oh, I've done a deal in this building before. Your buyer and your seller are going to be, they're different people. So each transaction is completely the bidding wars. Bidding wars. Do you remember some of the places had it like 25 offers? That was so exciting. Yes. When you get that call, that is so we're accepting your offer and you know how many, like they've gotten multiple offers. Listings, yeah. different sellers, different developers we've worked with together. It's been a wild ride. Is that a wrap? Yes, I think a that's a wrap. We appreciate Lucia Cousins. She's the OG on the Bogart New York team, our longest team member. So excited how 77 Mercer panned out, the off-market deal in Soho, and 7173 Franklin. Dude, if we can put this condo deal together, it will be the biggest, sexiest condos available in Tribeca. I still think I have cobwebs in my hair somewhere. Yuck.